Hello guys, this is Dr. Devashis. I am second year uh, DNB internal medicine resident at uh, GMERS Gotri Vadodara. In the previous video, I had explained to you the differences between DNB medicine and MD medicine, the work-life balance in the DNB hospital and why I chose M DNB uh, internal medicine. So, um, uh, this just uh, before some days, the NEET PG results have just been published. I know many of you guys have got uh, very good ranks. So, my video is uh, for those who are in the above average category rank, just like uh, from 5000 to 15000 rank, and who want to pursue with the best chosen subjects, with the, like uh, radio, like dermatology, like medicine, pediatrics. So why? What is the purpose of me making this video? Is that uh, because last last year I myself was very much confused as to which college, which hospital to take after uh, getting a good rank, uh, getting a middle rank. So I know many of you will be uh, in the facing the same uh, dilemma, and you will be uh, very much confused as to what subject to take, which hospital to take and uh, how is your uh, life going to be uh, after uh, three uh, years you have pursued your career as a PG. Uh, so I, I am going to give you a history about me that in 2020 uh, I was actually I got MD radiation oncology in Jipmer. I, I, was, I was really very happy that I have got a seat in probably the best hospital in the country but later later on I I realized that uh, it, it, it proved to be the worst decision of my life. I always wanted medicine from the first year of my uh, medical school and uh, but uh, I had made a uh, big blunder by changing the subject. So I gave NEET again in 2021 and I got uh, a 4700 rank and I chose DNB medicine and currently I'm, I, I, I left Jipmer after giving a penalty of 5 lakhs. So choosing PG is just like choosing your life partner. It's, it's going to be throughout your life. So my advice will be just to stick with your subject. No matter whoever comes to you and advises you and they try to deviate you from your subject, from your goal. So currently what I am doing, I have successfully completed one year of residency at a DNB hospital. And probably I can I, I can uh, I can guarantee that I have done more procedures and I've got more free hand than my MD counterparts in the probably the uh, who have got a very very good ranks than me so my healthy advice for you all the the middle rankers people that if you have a good rank it need PG then go for a good subject then then you go for DNB okay so but uh, but there are many other things that you do need to look after when you when you are choosing DNB, just like your hospital, your hospital, the capacity of your hospital should comprise of more than 500 beds, and the case loads, the number of patients coming in the OPD per day should be more than 400. The number of ICU beds in medicine should be more than 30 or 40. Uh, and and the most important thing is that the your hospital should have should should be. A, having uh, should be associated with a college as well then it will be very busy is there undergraduates in your hospital if your dnb college along with hospital is there then that will probably be the best there will be students uh, you you can try to, you can teach them your professors will be teaching professors so so definitely they will teach you as well so my take home advice for you is that you try you try and take a government dnb hospital which also had an attached college and uh, probably undergraduate students so don't uh, waste one precious year of your life just and uh, just seeking for mdms so try to take dnb if you are getting in a government hospital there are so many government hospitals in the country which uh, which are having a decent patient load just uh, just go through the the mcc pro, uh, site uh, properly to go vis visit and uh, contact to the residents of that uh, hospital everyone uh, is, will be very happy they will guide you nobody will uh, say you anything uh, means personally they uh, just 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 uh, contact try to contact them try to get their numbers and ask how how is the work life balance in that hospital and how many case load they are getting what is the academics in that hospital so uh, for those who have not got uh, a very good rank this time i would advise you that you work hard 
and uh, life always gives you a second chance i would wish you all the best for the i and upcoming i and i and the upcoming next next exam so this is me signing off hope this video will be informative for you if you have uh, any other queries uh, regarding uh, dnb medicine pedia or anything then please mention in the comments uh, section below i would try to reply you as many as i can because i'm uh, so i'm probably short of time uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, motivate me for making further such informative videos for you people thank you bye bye